For just £35, this dual fan air cooler is quite frankly amazing. It's a new cooler from Arctic called the Freezer 34 eSports Duo, which is quite a mouthful, so let me break that down for you. Uh, the Freezer 34 is the new design of their uh, quad piped uh, direct copper heatsink with impressive airflow and heat dissipation. And uh, the eSports is essentially just the uh, paint job that's got on it. It's a beautiful black finish. Uh, and then the Duo means that it comes with two fans. In terms of styling, you can actually get it in multiple options. Obviously, the eSports version does come in all black, which is awesome. And then the fan accent color can either be red, white, yellow, or green, which adds to uh, the style for your build. Mounting wise, it supports AM4 for Ryzen and supports the majority of Intel sockets, including even the 9900K if you so wish. Now it technically does support the larger 2066, you know, Intel X299 type CPU sockets, but because of the fairly small actual contact patch on the bottom of the cooler where the heat is actually transferred into the heat pipes and then, you know, out uh, into the air, uh, it's not, I'm not gonna wholly recommend it to you for those larger CPUs. Actually, mounting the cooler is incredibly easy and it's possibly one of the best designs that I've seen in the last couple of years, especially when it comes to air coolers. It's nice and simple. All you do is attach four screws through your motherboard to either the back plate that comes included in the box for Intel or into the back plate that came with your motherboard on the AMD side of things. Uh, then all you do is attach a couple of bars to the cooler in the right orientation for either AMD facing inwards or Intel facing outwards, and then throw some thermal paste on, put the cooler on, and use four nuts to hold it in place. And that is it. It's nice and simple it's nice and easy uh, and a genuinely genuinely good job to arctic there now the fan mounting method isn't the best it's just two wire clips to hook over to the back side of the fans but they come pre-applied and the spacers that you want on the back fans the sort of rubber pads to stop vibrations again come pre-applied so that's all good and it's actually it's pretty simple there's no issue with it it's just a little bit more on the naff side but you know it's not nothing really to worry about testing wise i threw it in this system which is the bit phoenix enzo mesh and a Ryzen 7 1700X, which of course isn't the hardest stress test you could push it through. And there was also the side panel was off and the graphics card obviously wasn't under load because I was using Prime 95. But uh, overall, I'm still incredibly impressed with the results here. The 1700X maximum temperature under full 100% load was only 51 degrees Celsius. That's actually really impressive considering that most water coolers would probably give you a relatively similar number there. And what impressed me even more about this was actually how quickly it then dropped back down to basically idle temperatures the second that the stress test was stopped. It went from the, that sort of 50 degrees Celsius kind of point all the way back down to 34 degrees Celsius in a matter of seconds, which is something that not all coolers do that well. So very impressive there. Another thing that blew me away was actually how quiet the cooler is. I left the side panel off as I mentioned. So here is a test for that. So this is a quick sound test of the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo. It's uh, about a foot to a foot and a half away from the camera and I'm about a foot away from the camera. So that should give you a good idea of how loud I am versus how loud the cooler is, which is actually pretty impressively quiet. This really is an incredibly impressive cooler. I really don't have much bad to say about it. The only even minor negative thing I could say is the fan mounting method. And even then it's a fairly standard method and uh, still, you know, it doesn't rattle and like that. It still holds the fans in a good position. It's just a little bit of a pain to clip them over and stuff. But either way, it's still perfectly fine. And I really, I really do highly recommend this cooler, especially considering that it's not much more than the more standard Cooler Master Hyper 212. Uh, and obviously you get two fans and I would say that it performs better and quieter than that one too so if you want a stylish obviously non-RGB but still pretty stylish and overall incredibly impressive cooler especially for a very low budget then this is a fantastic shout. To answer the question that I always put in these videos would I put this in my rig the answer is 100% yes I do as I mentioned highly recommend the cooler and especially for the price point I don't know that it can be beat. 
I would love to hear your thoughts though in the comments down below. Is this a cool that you're interested in? Is this something that you've you know, not heard of before but you're now impressed or not? I would love to hear your thoughts. And of course, if you want to pick up the cooler or just want to check out pricing when and where you watch this or even just check out the styling options, then you can check out the link in the description down below. That'll take you to your local Amazon store where you can see all of that. You can also support the channel by using the links in the description down below. There's Amazon and Overclockage K affiliate links, which don't cost you anything to use, but do massively help me out when you use them, so thank you. You can also check out the Patreon if you want to support me directly and get cool rewards for doing so, and thank you to all the patrons who are already there. You can also check out the merch, our private internet access, which is a great and cheap VPN, our Humble Bundle for cheap games that support charities too. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos over there. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below. I'll see you all in the next video.